There are many different types of noise. Noise is quite often described by its color. For example, white noise, the most common, has an equal amount of energy for every hundred or thousand hertz. Its frequency graph often looks quite flat. By contrast, pink noise rolls off the high end slightly. It has the same amount of energy for every octave, as opposed to every hundred or thousand hertz. Red or brown noise has even more high end roll off. As a matter of fact, it's used as a random control voltage as often as it's used as an audio source. On the other end of the spectrum, some colors of noise cut out the low frequencies. Blue noise is often likened to the type of hiss you hear from normal analog electronics. And purple noise is an even more extreme version with even more filtering at the low end. Beyond that, people have come up with many other variations and descriptions. For example, gray noise has both prominent low and high frequencies and a bit of a dip in the mid frequencies. My second noise generator here, the EMW noise station, has some noises called yellow, which is a very resonant peak in the high frequencies, and silver noise, with a more gentle peak in the high frequencies. Sometimes you'll get digitally generated noise. For example, quanta is just random little spikes, almost like background radiation. You can even use this as a random trigger source. A very common type of noise used in some percussion synthesis are shimmers, which are clusters of, say, square waves or other digital waveforms. Here's a couple different shimmers. That one might be used for a cowbell. And that one might be used for more of a cymbal type sound. Now, an idiosyncrasy of synthesizers that even something as commonly defined as white noise may sound different from module to module. For example, the white noise from this SSF Quantum Rainbow is quite smooth sounding. However, if I listen to the noise coming from my Moog Mother 32, it's much more mid-rangey, and you can see on the frequency graph that does indeed cut off the low frequencies and high frequencies. And then the MW noise station sounds different yet again. Not quite as hissy as the SSF Quantum Rainbow. And that's why you'll find some modular users collect more than one of the same type of module, because sometimes even the same supposed effect sounds different between different brands.